Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So this series is called WordPress 101. This is the first video. This is going to be the introduction video. This is for the very beginners. If you're just now starting to use WordPress or you're just now starting to dabble in WordPress, this is the video for you. Now disclaimer, if you have not already installed WordPress or you're using WordPress or you're wanting to get into WordPress, I'm going to link to a video now that will show you how to set up hosting as well as set up WordPress to use on your website. So click on that video now. It'll also be in the description down below this video if you're wanting to watch that as well. Uh, also, you need to know in order to have a website, one that people can go to, a lot of different people, you're going to need a hosting plan. Uh, I prefer Bluehost. Again, you can choose any of them. There are a ton of them, but I will have a link here that will actually get you a free domain name as well as a discount on your hosting plan. Now, it will help me out, but it'll also get you a free domain name plus a cheaper price on hosting. So click that link, sign up there uh, for a hosting plan for a whole year, uh, get a discount and help me out in the long run. So let's get started. So WordPress, what is it? WordPress is a platform that allows you, a backend platform that allows you to have a website. It allows you to post like blog posts. It allows you to have like a um, marketplace online. So basically, if you want to have a website, WordPress is one of the simplest ways that I have found. I use WordPress on a majority of my websites that I run. It is a great backend tool that allows you to manage your website and make it look great, okay? So let's take a look at what we have here. Now, once you've logged into your WordPress site, now again, you may need to go to that other video if you don't have WordPress yet, and I'll put that again down below. But once you're here, once you know what WordPress is and you've already downloaded and installed it to the back end of your website, you're going to log in and see this. Now, just starting from the very beginning, if you need to log in to the back end of your WordPress site, go to yourwebsite.com slash admin. There'll be a username password. Once you are there, type them in. If you've forgotten that password, it'll email it straight to the email where you signed up with WordPress and you should be good to go. So once you log in, you're going to see this here. This is the back end. This is the dashboard. This is the main thing you're going to see when you log into WordPress. Basically, this gives you a glance of everything going on. So if you have plugins, it'll give you updates on those. It'll give you a little glance here, how many posts you may have, how many pages you may have. And that may not mean a lot to you now, but this is going to be the one-stop shop for you to come and look at your comments and you can move all of this stuff around and you know adjust it to your liking to make uh, certain things that you may want to look at uh, more relevant to you once you log into your dashboard. So enough about the dashboard. Let's move on. Uh, this here Jetpack, that's just a plugin, so don't worry about that. The first thing you're going to want to focus on is this here where it says post. Once we click on post, uh, we're going to see a few different things. This is going to be where all of your posts that you publish on your website, whether it be a blog post uh, or a blurb or a specific page, this is going to be where you manage all of those, okay? So obviously when you want to add a new post, you go to add new. So you can hover over post, go to add new or click on post and then go to add new. Once you're there, this is where you're going to add your first post on your website. Congratulations. You enter your title here. Okay. You enter the description and what the post is going to be, the content of the post here. And then down below, you're going to have title tags, meta descriptions, all of that good stuff. Now I will get into the nitty gritty of this stuff in a future tutorial in WordPress 101 in this series. So don't worry too much about that now. Just know this is where you're going to add a new post, okay? You can add apply categories, you can add tags, uh, you can add a custom template, whatever you wanna do, all from this post option here uh, where you can add posts. Now, if we go back to all posts, now let's say you've added a post and you wanna manage that post. You can do that by just going to the post tab here and then you can scroll down and look at all of the different posts that you've posted so far. You can click on them, just like so, go to that post and edit it at any time. So once you've clicked on it, you can go here, you can edit the image, the feature image, you can edit the content, you can even edit the title if you want to, okay? So once you're in post, you can go into there and break it down even more, and you can look at the post you've already put on here and go ahead and edit those. So straight from here, we can actually do a quick edit, we can send it to the trash, or we can view it on our website. So if we click view right here, it'll show us that exact post on our website right now live. So again, all of this is done within the post manager here. Now, if we select multiple posts like here, if we check mark here and go to bulk actions, we can edit multiple posts or we can move multiple posts to the trash 
trash if that's what we're wanting to do. Also, you're going to see over here how many comments those posts have on them as well as the publish date of that specific post. Now, I'm using an older site for this um, tutorial video here, so you're going to see mine were published way back about a year ago, uh, but my obviously my more updated, up-to-date sites, uh, you'll be able to see those, and you can even sort those by clicking on date right here, by tags, by date, by categories, whatever that may be, all of that right here. Now, the next thing we're going to see is categories. Now, under categories, which is going to be under the post tab, you're going to see a few different things. Now, under categories, this is very important, you can add specific categories okay, to put your post under. So like I have a podcast, I created a category called podcast. So any post that has a podcast episode in it, I put it within the podcast category. I have a monthly channel report category. Any channel reports that I do on my blog or on my website go directly under the monthly channel reports. So again, you can go in here, okay, and add new categories by go ahead and naming them here, okay, go ahead and giving them a parent category. So let's say the monthly channel supports I'm sorry, the monthly channel reports need to go under YouTube for beginners. What I would do is under parent, I would put YouTube for beginners. So basically what that means is when someone's in a, like a mother or a father category, those little baby categories are going to be underneath that. So if you want someone to, it's kind of like a breadcrumb or a breadcrumb trail. It's kind of like I like to use it. So make sure you organize your categories appropriately and make it easy for your users who are using your website to get around your website. Once we've done that, we can give it a description by going right here under the description and uh, describing what the category is and then title and a meta description and all that good stuff I'll go over in a future video but basically a quick synopsis of that that's basically for the search engine so you definitely don't want to leave these blank uh, you definitely want to utilize these because they're for Google and Yahoo and Bing and those places that are going to uh, crawl your website so you definitely want to do those but I'll cover that in a future tutorial very soon so that's categories again if you want to delete a category you can hover over it just like this uh, and then go to delete just like so so it's very simple to edit and remove uh, and move them around so next you're going to see tags under tags I'm not going to stay on this a very long time basically these are keywords that a post may be about. Now, I have popular tags here. Uh, this website is about YouTube and tutorials and things like that, so you're going to see a lot of that stuff here. Uh, the bigger the word, obviously, um, the more relevant or prevalent that that keyword is, and you can go on here and see all of the different tags that I have used. Uh, basically, if you want to add a new tag, you can here. Again, this is good for Google and the search engines. When they search your site, uh, tags let them know what your website is about, so that's kind of a little bit about tags. Now, under media, we're going to see a few different things. Now, under media, uh, this is going to be like all of the feature images, all of the images that I've uploaded to WordPress, okay, for the back end of my website. Now, let me explain this to you. When you upload these images to WordPress on the back end, they're automatically going to be hosted, uh, you know, obviously from your hosting provider, whether that be Bluehost or whoever it is, but they're going to be on the back end of WordPress, so you can always go and look at them and, you know, see which ones you've added, maybe even move them around, delete them if you want to. Uh, you could even go up here and go to Add New, and you can select files from your computer and go ahead and upload those to the back end of WordPress to your website to use on a post that you know you're going to use that image, okay? So that's a little bit about media. Now, media can be music, media can be video, media can be images. Uh, I would recommend, though, uh, downloading like a plugin for video, like a YouTube plugin. Again, that way you can just type in the URL and it automatically shows up on that uh, website. But I'll do a future video on that as well. Now, the next section here is going to be pages. Uh, pages are going to be like, if we go here to my website, you see these over here, like the About Me page right here. If we go to the About Me page, it'll just kind of tell me a little bit about myself, all of that good stuff. So basically, pages are like individual entities that are separate from post. So posts go into pages but pages are separate entities themselves. So we've got YouTube resources, welcome to the YouTube Creators Hub, and about me. These are separate pages, okay? They're, they're just different entities. They're not like a post or a blog post like I was showing you earlier. You can put specific posts within pages, but you can't do vice versa. You can't put pages within posts. You can link to them, but you can't like do a direct uh, breadcrumb trail like I was talking about with categories earlier. So make sure you know there's a difference between pages and categories, and there's a difference in pages and posts. Very simple, very easy, but you, again, want to make sure it's very simple for your user to navigate your website. Uh, we can add new pages by going to Add New right here, clicking on that, add a new page, give it a description. You know, you can even give it a parent page like here, over here, like I was telling you guys about. Uh, so that's kind of a little bit about pages. Next, you're going to see comments. Uh, 
again, I use a plugin called Discus for comments uh, to manage my my uh, my comments, but. WordPress does a great job with their native comment uh, monitoring and spam catching and things like that. You can go here, look at your different comments that have been commented on your blog and go here and approve them. You can reply to them here. You can spam, you know, send them to spam. You can trash them. Whatever you want to do, you can manage your comments all under the comment section there. So that's all of the main stuff on the top end here. Now let's skip these two because these are basically um, plugins and stuff like that. Next, you're going to see appearance. Now appearance is very important. Um, appearance is going to be where you make your website come to life, where you make it look the way you want it to look. The first thing you're going to see is themes. So I have the thesis theme, which is a premium theme. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in using that theme. I think it's great, but don't worry, you can get free themes as well, such as these here, 2014, 2013, all of that good stuff. You can even preview them by going to live preview here and, and see what they look like. If I go to live preview, I can see what that's going to look like on my specific site. It's going to look awful because I already have it managed out to use the theme that I'm using. So we can go here, look and see and manage my website, see what it looks like within that specific theme. Let's go back. Uh, so once you've got the theme that you want and you can search and shop for new themes, there all over the internet. Just search for WordPress themes, free or premium, whatever you want to do. And then once you've found the one you want, you can go uh, and activate that theme. Now, if you want to add a new theme, you just click the little addition symbol here. Then you will go onto your computer and you will upload that theme, choose a file, upload it. Uh, when you're downloading the theme, it'll tell you what you need to save it as in order for it to upload. But normally it's a .zip file uh, and then you'll upload that and then you'll be able to use that theme on your website. So that's a little bit about themes. We can do more on that in another video. Next, we're going to have the customize tab. So the customize tab is going to be able to go, uh, allow us to go through and look at our widgets like a sidebar. We can go here. So basically like I have like a two panel layout on my website. If I wanted to edit that, make it a one panel or a three panel, I can go into the customize tab over here and do some adjustments. That way. Next, you're going to see widgets and menus. These are basically little things that add flair to your website. So under widgets, you may see like I have a calendar here. Uh, I have an opt-in skin, which is like a place for people to opt in to my website, my email list, uh, subscribe to, to podcasts. Again, these are all personal preference. I will do a more in-depth video on those later. Uh, menus, uh, basically this is going to be the complete breakdown of like your menus as far as your pages and your categories. So again, pages and categories are not the same, but you can use them to get people to where you want them to go. So Obviously, I have my different pages here. The menu structure is going to be the About Me page. Then you have the Podcast page under Category, and then you can kind of label that, and you can even click and hold and drag these around to adjust them. So you see my pages go About Me Podcast, but if I go over here and I drag Podcast above About Me, then obviously it'll rearrange it on my website as well. So that's kind of where you move the menus around. Next, you're going to see uh, Favicon, uh, whatever you want to call it. You can call it Favicon, Fivicon, whatever you want to call it. But basically what that is, I'm going to zoom in right here. If you look right here, that little image, whenever you're, you've opened a tab with that website open in your web browser, you're going to see a little image there right beside the website. That's your favicon. Uh, it makes it look more professional, uh, and there's a specific way to do that. I'll link down below on how to make a favicon if you don't know how to do that. Uh, it just adds a little more flair, a little more personal touch to your website. So uh, don't worry about this. Don't worry about editor. That's some more in-depth stuff. Don't worry about that. The next thing we're going to talk about is plugins, uh, and then we'll talk about some users and settings, and then we'll get out of here, okay? The next thing that I want to let you look at is the plugins page. Now, plugins are absolutely critical to WordPress and the back end of WordPress. So as you see here, I was telling you uh, the one that makes like about video, the one that makes your YouTube and Vimeo auto embed with with Fluidity or whatever you want to call it. I use one called Fluid Video Embeds, but you can add new plugins by going to plugins, add new, and then you can search featured plugins. You can go online, go to Google and find one and search the search bar right here for specific plugins. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's plugins for basically anything. There's plugins for social media. There's plugins for comments. Uh, so basically that's what you want to do. You can search by featured. You can search by popular. You can search by recommended. Uh, all of that good stuff. Check it out. See what you think about it. Try a few out. Don't be afraid to test and try uh, different plugins because it will help you out. So that's a little bit about plugins. And obviously, when you go to installed plugins here, you can always delete them. You can always deactivate them by going here to the plugins, deactivate, go to settings, deactivate, or click it, go up here, delete, 
update, whatever you want to do. Make sure you keep those updated though, because it might mess your website up if they're not. Uh, so make sure you do that as well. Now under users, basically, if you have multiple users, you can add users here, uh, allow them to log into this back end that you're seeing here. Uh, so if they're not obviously where you are to where y'all are together all the time, uh, you'll want to add them here so they can log in and edit the, the website at any time. And you can do that by going to users, add new. And then once you're here, you can give them a password, a username, all of that good stuff there. Uh, next, you're going to see tools. Uh, under tools here, I'm not going to talk about it that that much, uh, but under the tools tab, you're going to see a few different things. Um, basically, a little bit about some plugins, uh, website verification. You're going to see some uh, like things for like uh, social media as well as uh, webmaster stuff from like Google and Bing. So don't really worry too much about that now. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is settings. So under settings, this is like the general uh, mass stuff about your website. So under settings, you're going to see like the site title, YouTube Creators Hub, online video, YouTube strategies, tagline, you know, I have a little tagline here. It says conquering the internet one video at a time. Uh, WordPress address. So all of this here, you need to go through, look at it and see uh, if everything is to your liking. You know, the way you display the calendar, the language, you can change it. If you're a different language, you can change it to whatever you want it. Uh, so basically, that's a little bit about the settings. So I'm going to go back to dashboard and close this thing out. So this is the first introduction and overview to the back end of WordPress. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you have any further questions or tutorials you'd like to see in this video series, put them in the comment box below. I will be more than happy to show you anything you want in regards to WordPress. Remember, you need hosting. I recommend Bluehost. Again, I have an affiliate link down below that helps me, but it also helps you. You get a free domain name as well as a discount on hosting. Um, so as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, please go ahead and slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.